Hello, now the chances are you've been sent this video because you're pretty lacking in the dessert department. However, we're going to show you in this video all the tips and tricks you need to make custard, turn it into ice cream, make caramel, cookie dough and hot fudge sauce. Because let's face it, when it comes to desserts, you're more Tom and Jerry than Ben and Jerry. Now this dessert is a dentist's dream because it's all incredibly sweet. It keeps them in business. It that's certainly what does. <laughs> uh, but I'm going to teach you two skills. Oh, yeah. One of those is custard, which will then chill down and churn into an ice cream. And the second is how to make a caramel. Ah! But the custard first. So what we need to do is take cream, 500 ml, and place that into a pan to come up to the boil. But what you're going to do is split a vanilla pod to get all of the seeds out of it. So just run a knife down the entire pod and then just using the back of the blade, scrape it along the bit you've just cut and all of those seeds come out. Scrape that into our cream and then you can do the same with the other side and then the whole pods go in as well. Give it a bit of a whisk just to kind of disperse those black seeds and then you want to heat that up to just before it starts to boil and in the meantime we can look at what thickens our custard and that's egg yolk with sugar. And a classic custard is very simple. Six egg yolks. Whoa. I've even done you the honour of separating from the whites. They can go into there, along with six teaspoons of caster sugar and about a pint of double cream. This isn't going to just be for me, is it? Because no, I might die. But it is enough to share. OK. Between us. At the point where the cream is just starting to boil, now's the time to pour it over our egg yolks. But keep whisking as you do so, because if you don't, you have a chance of scrambling. And the whole lot goes in, and then when you've made sure you've got right down to the bottom and all the egg yolks combined, put the whole thing back into the pan, and we heat it over a gentle heat until we get a custard consistency. So you're in charge of that. Back on heat, turn the heat down, because too much too soon, and it will just scramble, and it'll be really difficult to control. You'll know when it starts to thicken, because you'll get the coating consistency on the back of a spoon, where if you draw a line through it, it holds that line. So pour it through the sieve, we'll catch any small bits that have started to scramble. In fact, we've caught it just in time, there's very few bits there. That is amazing custard. Now, obviously you can serve it hot. What we're gonna do though is chill it and then freeze it as it churns. So that can go into our fridge and chills up until it's completely cold. In the meantime, we can make the flavoring. That's just vanilla ice cream. We're gonna make praline ice cream. Now, you happy you know what praline means? Sugared almonds. Sugared almonds, so there's the sugar. And there's the almonds. Oh, All we that. need to do is make the caramel. So this is the next tip I'm going to show you. Basically, put your sugar into a pan with a tiny shot of water. And we let that bubble until it's a nice golden brown. Our toasted almonds, on the other hand, we can scatter onto a tray with a non-stick pan. And as soon as you've got caramel, you pour it over the toasted almonds. Oh, man, that's and nice. then it sets up and you get a sheet of caramel with the toasted almonds in it. The almonds already toasted, so they've got that nutty flavour already. Then the caramel, then we snap it up and put it into our ice cream. Now we've done top tips on getting custard right. Now for the caramel. One top tip, don't stir it. Yes, and I know why. Because by putting another object in there, it will lower the temperatures of that and then make it crystallise, which ruins it. You can swill it from time to time, but don't stir it. Oh, I suppose that golden syrup, yeah. And it's got that golden colour. Well, I think that's probably good to think about taking off the heat now and pouring over the nuts. So nice and slow, this is super, super hot. And just dribble it all over the nuts. And then just before it sets, get in there with a spoon. For goodness sake, don't touch it with your fingers. This is so, so hot toasted almond and gorgeous caramel. At this point, just leave it at room temperature set up and later on we can snap it to pieces. We're even going to blend some of it up into a crumb and put it through our ice cream. Next up, cookie dough. You guys asked for it in a Sunday. that's what we're going to do. So all you're going to do is beat together softened butter, milk and brown sugar and then fold in vanilla extract, flour and chocolate chips. And there we go, a very, very soft cookie dough. What you're going to do is wrap it up in grease with paper. Here's one I made earlier, slightly smaller, but that's the cookie dough and just try some of that. It's been in the fridge, right? Yep. Oh, Chilled down. Oh, dude. Oh, yeah. And when you mix that with the ice cream, so it chills down even more. So, so good. So that's that it. Amazing. Cookie dough done. Shall I have We've that? Got, we can have that. Don't need too much. Now what? The final thing, the sweet decadence to finish our sundae, chocolate fudge sauce. It couldn't be easier. A tin of condensed milk, chocolate chips and butter into a pan. Heat it up very slowly as you stir it. And as soon as that chocolate and butter is melted, hot sauce good to go. And now where we start to do everything together, what we've got here is our chilled custard. If you were to put that in a sauce bottle, creme on glaze. Or what we've got here is an ice cream maker that's been in the freezer for 12 hours. So it's nice and chilled. 
And if we basically put all of our custard into the ice cream machine and churn it as it cools, we end up with amazing ice cream. So churn it on and leave that to churn. All it needs is about 10, 15 minutes and we'll have perfect ice cream that in That is rapid. In the meantime, look at our praline. It looks spectacular. Be careful, you'd be amazed how sharp caramel is. Okay, look, wow. at that, look at that edge, it's like glass. What we want to do is take half of it and snap it into pieces and place it into a blender and we want to make praline dust out of that. It is sharp, but it's also so pasty. Mm. Lid on and blitz that up. Look at that. And that, now that this is fine, pretty much dissolves into our ice cream once it's churned and you get an amazing praline ice cream. Fudge sauce is now fudgy. And the cookie dough, we can now hack it up into small bite-sized pieces. And we'll layer that into our Sunday glass with the ice cream. And after churning, what we now have is a beautifully smooth and creamy oh. ice cream. Soft scoop. We're going to add in our praline mixture. If you want to be able to ball it and for it to hold its form in Sunday glass, transfer it into a cold dish and put it into the freezer. This is one we did earlier. So I've got awesome homemade ice cream set up. And when we're making an ice cream sundae, everyone loves a little nugget in the bottom. So dribble in some of our fudge sauce first, Not. followed by beautiful soft scoop praline ice cream. And you've got to work quick if you're using hot fudge sauce because it will begin to melt that ice cream. Another dollop of ice cream, more cookie dough. Oh, wow. When are we going to stop? And I think some praline, big chunks you've got on your side there. Snap a few shards, this is all about texture. We've got cookie dough chew, we've got soft creamy ice cream, the crunch from the praline. That is our praline ice cream, hot fudge sauce, cookie dough sundae, sorted. That guy Ben and that guy Jerry, good God did they know what they were doing with cookie dough ice cream. No way, Ben and Jerry have nothing on Ben and Mike. <laughs> That's amazing. That is so good. All I can say is that if you know a friend or a member of your family who has an equally sweet tooth, you have to send this video to them so they can make it too. Even if it's only one component or other, cookie dough or fudge sauce or ice cream or all three together, they have to give it a go.